Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to execute Cypress tests via command line interface. The starting point will be the Cypress examples that we created in the previous tutorial. No worries, you can find its link in the description below. For demo purpose, I will split the existing test scenarios into two separate spec files. Let's do it. Save the files and now we have one spec file containing only the register example and another spec file containing only the login scenario. Great, let's get started. In Visual Studio Code you can open up a terminal from here. So I already opened mine. So the first command is node modules bin cypress run. It will uh, execute by default all the test scenarios existing in the test suites referred as spec files. The execution will happen in headless mode. As you can see it uses the Electron browser. So it found two spec files and it's executing all the scenarios existing in each of them. Great, all the specs passed. Additionally to this command, you can use hyphen hyphen headless but considering the fact that by default the run option executes the test in headless mode, the process will be exactly the same. If you don't want to use the headless mode, you can always use the headed option and the browser will show up during the execution. Great, so far we have the headless and headed options that can be added anytime to the CLI commands. Let's move on to the next question. How do we decide which browser should be used for the execution? For this matter, as you probably already guessed, there is an option for that too. For example, we can use the browser option adding the browser name as a parameter. Instead of Chrome, you could simply use Firefox as well. So far, 
we've seen that all these commands automatically execute all the tests present in our project. But how can we run only a specific test suite? For example, we only want to execute all the test scenarios present in the login spec file, but not those present in the user actions. The answer is very simple. You can only add the spec option followed by the path to the spec file starting from the Cypress folder. In our case, it will be Cypress slash integration slash examples slash login.spec.js. Great, as you can see, only the test scenarios present in the login.spec file have been executed, but not those present in the user actions. One more trick that I want to show you is that the NPM provides you the opportunity to store all these command lines into custom scripts. So, for example, instead of always running this custom CLI command for running the tests in headed mode using the Chrome browser, you can simply create in the package.json file a new script under the scripts property called run headed, for example, but feel free to choose your own script name and you can simply pass the entire CLI command in here. Save the file and from the CLI you can simply run npm run followed by the script name. In our case it will be run headed. Sorry, you have to add the comma in here. Save the file and retry to execute the npm run run headed. It's nice and easy, isn't it? So the thing is that you can apply the exact procedure in order to create scripts in the package.json file for the other commands as well.